This is... This is the filter itself. Look at that. Look at all that. I should have replaced this thing a while ago. Right? And then here is the new one. Already looks way cleaner. That's what it's supposed to look like. My god. And that's what three years of not replacing it looks like. So what is up you shifts? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace an air filter. Um, so you're supposed to replace them every two years practically. Um, and I haven't been able to do that. I haven't done it whatsoever. So this thing is actually pretty, pretty dirty. Um, and I would highly recommend that you replace them every two years because I've had this bike for about three years now. And I have 44, about to be 45,000 miles on it. And I still have not replaced it whatsoever. Um, so with that being said, make sure to replace your air filter. Uh, the cool thing is about this one is I went over to Harley, got the part, and it only cost me about 48 bucks, I wanna say. So I'm gonna replace it myself. It's very easy. All you're gonna need are these tools right here. So I have a 3 8 socket wrench. I also have a long reach hex set. This one is a 1 8 and this one is a 5 30 seconds long reach hex set. So I'm gonna use these today to take off the two bolts that are right here and there's, this takes off the plate and there's another two bolts underneath that pops the cover right off and then I can get right to the air filter and get from there. Uh, so it's gonna be a very simple, easy install to do today. And I just wanna show you guys how it looks like. So let's get ourselves started. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna be able to take this cover off. So like I was mentioning before, I have my long reach 1 8 hex set. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start loosening up both bolts and that's gonna take the plate off completely. So just to mention, it's gonna be a little bit easier because I did do this beforehand before showing you guys how to do it just because I wanted to make sure and walk myself through. So I put everything literally back together again just to take it off just to show you guys as well because I think that's very important to do for me to learn and also for you guys to see. So I'm gonna take my long reach 1 8 and I'm gonna loosen this off completely. There's only two bolts here holding this together. So there goes one, here's the second one. Again, you just want to be careful with this stuff too. You don't want to strip any bolts. So I just use my long reach because it's much easier. So there go both bolts. And make sure you put them in a place that you can remember. And this is just plastic, right? But also I like the way it looks, so I don't want to scratch up the plastic. So I'm going to put it on a towel that's over here by the side of me. I'm going to put it face down. Now I want to take out these two bolts. So the next step with that one is I'm going to take my long reach um, five thirty seconds set and tie that in and then now I'm going to take both of these bolts off but before you take these bolts off loosen them up first both of them and then place your hand underneath here because this is metal and it would suck if it fell I know no one's gonna really see this here but they might see this if this falls you can risk scratching it on the ground so just make sure that when you take these two off go slow with it and take off the plate itself so that it doesn't scratch and land on the ground there goes one, here goes the second one, there we go, now see it's already loose, I'm just going to loosen this the rest of the way, there goes the one right there, placing my hand underneath it just to support it so I don't scratch it because I would hate to do that, and boom, there's the second plate. Well, there's a second bolt. Now I'm gonna take this, and again, I already did this, so my air filter fell right out with it. Um, but yours might, like, you might have to pop it out yourself. So here is the old air filter, and I wanna show you guys this. So like I said, I hadn't replaced this in three years, right? Um, before I mention this, actually, make sure that, I, I don't know if it's gonna really matter, so I put, I'm gonna put my new air filter with the Harley Davidson symbol facing down so upside down and the letters facing upside down too i don't think it's going to make a difference quite honestly but just for continuity purpose i'm imagining that they put it there for a reason like that so i'm going to do the same thing but just look at this this is the filter itself right this is literally the filter like there's just a bunch of gunk in it and this is 
This is the filter itself. Look at that. Look at all that. I should have replaced this thing a while ago. Right? And then here is the new one. Already looks way cleaner. That's what it's supposed to look like. My god. And that's what three years of not replacing it looks like. Don't do what I did and not replace your air filters. So I'm gonna put this back upside down. I'm gonna take that hard plate again, holding this all in place, I'm gonna put it back together, and then just literally redo what you just did. And it's that simple and that easy to take the air filter out and put it back. Just to let you guys know, I will put the link down in the description of where you can get these. I literally went to my local Harley Davidson dealership and just asked them uh, for this. And it was 48 bucks, it was 48 bucks. Um, I think the guy tried selling me on getting an aftermarket air filter, which I appreciate. Um, I said no, fortunately for me, unfortunately for him, possibly. But I said no because I don't need it, I don't. But I think it was very helpful that he told me because then now I know if I do want something like that in the future, I know how much it costs. So, but until then, I just need a regular air filter because I'm about to go on my cross country trip. So I wanna make sure that this is all set up properly. So there we go. And then what I like to do is I'm just gonna hand tighten this so it makes it easier to come off next time. And yeah, and that's it, it's that simple. There we go, hand tight. We go hand tight that plate is on now and then now we're going to put the 114 plate on there we go and then now i'm just going to tighten it just a little bit more and then we should be done there we go boom now it's on and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wipe this down to get all my hand grease off of it there we go. And that is how you change your air filter. So please, for the love of God, don't wait how long I waited, which was three years to replace this thing. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure the bike was suffering for it. Sometimes when I turn it on in the morning and it would sound kind of gross. Um, so now I'm gonna wait till tomorrow um, to turn it on again and see if it sounds any better. That is how you do a air intake replacement on a 2021 Lowrider S. And I'd imagine a lot of the 2021 models that have this ovular shaped air intake are gonna be roughly the same. It's just the two bolts here, the two bolts underneath, take the plate off, be careful with it, replace the filter, put the plate back on, tighten them up, put this plate back on, tighten it, and then you're done. And that's how you replace an air intake. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys wanna see me do any more work, just let me know. This is all on maintenance made easy um, as best as possible. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.